Um, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is 8 News. Uh, welcome to 8news.org slash 8 News YouTube channel slash 8 News Odyssey channel and all that fun stuff. Now, I'm going to be talking about, uh, every year I talk about this, and I'm going to start, I started in 2021 this year, and this is going on to 2022. Is AAA worth the money for 2022? <laughs> Um, is AAA actually worth the time and the effort to pay for a membership? Uh, depends on your situation. The parks are open. The hotels are open. Um, a lot of places are looking for tourism and everything else. Um, right now, personally, I wouldn't spend money in, in, this in 2022 on uh, AAA for not really nothing because... I have um, a good insurance policy that has unlimited roadside assist, uh, unlimited roadside assistance. I very rarely drive, so I don't think AAA would be a good fit for me at this particular time in life. You can get better deals on Hotels.com to Expedia to uh, Kayak. You can get better deals if you shop around at the um, you know closeout prices uh, websites. Even the uh, Wyndham Rewards uh, memberships are uh, doing pretty darn good. You get like 25% off of a, you know, a Wyndham Hotel or something like that. It's actually a better deal than the AAA. And it's coming closer to looking at AAA may become obsolete, to be honest with you, in my book. I think AAA, I don't think for 2023 and beyond... I don't think... AAA is going to have a hard time uh, trying to stay alive. I personally think that. Uh, they got rid of the bail bonds program. Uh, they don't have the bail bonds program anymore. If you got arrested, they'll bail you out of jail. If it's nothing that serious. They got rid of that bail bonds program. And that was what actually was keeping them afloat. A lot of people like that because then they can get bail bond. They have an insurance policy. So they don't... Uh, Get a, when they get arrested, they can you know get bail bond up to like ten thousand or so five thousand. I forgot how much it was. I was a uh, platinum member of uh, AAA, and they got rid of that, and then they got rid of the discounts on Amtrak. And really, I, I sat down and thought about what is this really good for anyway? You got rid of the Amtrak discount. You got rid of the bail bond program. You got rid of the monthly payment, so they want like four or five hundred dollars up front. This is uh, this is getting really kind of it was getting really dicey, you know. Uh, probably lowered the price after they did that, but still, it's dicey. You know, you don't really get good deals per se. You know, you get probably some decent coverage of automobile insurance and life insurance. But really, you know, if you... And how they try to get you back is they hire the rudest people to call you. And then they try to get you back into guilt tripping you back to, to uh, joining AAA again. So, really, AAA is really not uh, what it used to be anymore. See, back in the days, AAA used to give great discounts, great everything, to be honest with you. Now we don't have triple. Now triple A is just. Oh, I'm part of the triple A Motor Club. You know, it's kind of like the triple A Motor Clubs are kind of dead when you look at it. In my theory, it's just my theory alone. I, I see triple A really not being. Sur I don't think triple A will ever sur uh, survive. To be honest with you, I personally think triple A is about to go by the wayside. People don't drive that much. People go to different states to go to small towns to see attractions or stuff like that. No. A lot of attractions don't accept AAA discounts anymore. A lot of AAA uh, attractions, you have to go to the AAA office to even get the, the special discounts. And the closest AAA office is in a town o next over. That's kind of like 40 miles. 30 or 40 miles. So, it's really not a convenient type of way to even get anything you want. You know, when I lived in Palm Coast for a little while, that's, uh, that's a couple towns over, the closest, um, the closest, uh, 
trip AAA office was in Daytona. Daytona. So that was like a 40, 50 mile drive. And we used to get these things called triptychs um, when I was a kid. We used to get these little things called triptychs. I think they still have that, but you know you have to beg them to get it. You know, I remember when I was a kid, I was going to go, I'm not a kid, when I, I think it was like seven, eight years ago, I think it was. I was going to take a trip up to Atlanta, Georgia, and I asked for a triptych to see what, and on the triptych, I would like to see what type of attractions were up there when I was going on the road so I could stop by an attraction and check them out. And, uh, they never really did that. So, me personally, I think uh, AAA is going by the wayside, to be honest with you. Um, hate to say it, but the automobile days going to buffets and all that stuff are over. Really, I don't think they'll ever come back. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets, I haven't seen them anymore. And I think they're completely dead. That's going to be my next video about all-you-can-eat buffets and the death of that in the future. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later.